After a bonus point victory on match day one, Munster went into this game in confident mood. But coach Rob Penny was quick to warn against overconfidence, pointing to last season's narrow two-point win for his side in Parma. Zebre suffered defeat at Connacht in their opening game, but showed again that their long sought after first Pro 12 win mightn't be too far away. Andrea Cabanato shuffled his pack with a new front row lineup of Perugini, Manici, and Redolfini to take on the Monstermen. The visitors were quickly off the mark, out half JJ Hanrahan putting them 6 0 ahead with two penalties, the second here in the 15th minute. Zebre gave the home crowd something to shout about midway through the first half. Luciano Orquera slotting a penalty over to half the deficit, three points to six. <laughs> On 22 minutes, the Italians went ahead for the first time. Having been awarded a penalty, Orquera's quick thinking close to the monster line caught everyone by surprise, including the match director. The Argentinian-born Italian international showing all his experience to get over the line for the first try of the match, just. The monster defence dozing momentarily and punished by the Zebre number 10. The out half was less successful with his conversion attempt. It left it eight points to six. The Italian's cause wasn't helped in the 32nd minute when Fijian international Cameli Ratubu found himself in trouble with the officials for this dump tackle on Andrew Conway, who was making his first competitive start for the men in red. The ref consulted with the TMO. Lifting tackle by white number 13. Yeah. What's your recommendation on that, Alan? Yeah, It's a yellow card. A yellow card? He's recommended a yellow card. And Hanrahan landed the penalty that followed to put Munster back in front. Yeah. At the other end, another Orquera penalty saw Zebre retake the lead, 11-9. Then, just before the break, Zebre incredibly extended their lead with a really remarkable try from hooker Andrea Manici, who showed a tremendous turn of foot to evade the flailing Munster tacklers to finish like a fleet-footed winger. Manici's second try in as many matches for Zebre in the Pro 12. A wonderful score to get the crowd off their seats, and it gave Zebre an 18 9 half time lead. Munster's response into the second period was immediate. First, Hanrahan notched another penalty to leave just six between the sides, and then a moment of brilliance from the visitors. Huge credit goes to Johnny Murphy with the initial break. Great support work from Dennis Hurley. Paddy Butler charged over despite the best efforts of the Zebra defence. Great work from Munster. Butler finished last season with a couple of tries and he's picked up where he left off. Hanrahan converted to put the Munster men 19-18 ahead. He kicked another penalty soon after to put four points between the sides. The Italians' resistance was creaking and within a few minutes Munster were further ahead. CJ Stander blasted over from close range. The former Bulls man looked to have got the touchdown and the ref asked for the TMO's assistance before the try was awarded. Hanrahan converted to make it 29-18 in favour of the Irish province. Orquera reduced the deficit with a penalty before Stander got over for his second and Munster's third. A super break from the South African and a score that sealed Zebre's fate. Hanrahan was left with the easiest of tasks with the conversion and Munster were cruising 36-21 ahead. Ian Keatley came on as a replacement for Hanrahan and almost immediately made his mark with Munster pushing for the bonus point. Keatley got over from close range past the bamboozled Zebre defenders. The man from Dublin converted his own try and Munster were 43-21 ahead with the bonus point in the bag. There'd be no further scoring. Rob Penny's side make it two bonus point wins out of two. A very good start to the campaign for Munster. Zebre remain pointless, but with Treviso to come next time. Final score in Parma, Zebre 21, Munster 43.